Hey again everyone, this is Kiyashu along with Encrypted bringing you another match from the AHGL. Uh, in the bottom left hand corner for Team Cisco we are going to have Pyruvate. And in the top right hand corner, uh, and that was as the blue Terran by the way. And in the top right hand corner as the red Zerg we are going to have Odin play for Team Mozilla. In the last match we saw a failed Terran fast expand with a wall at the Zerg's third. Yeah, but that really caught me off guard. But yeah, we saw that happen, and the Zerg was able to capitalize on that with just some quick lean play. Um, so, maybe this will be a longer game, maybe it'll be shorter, who knows. So, um, as I am liking this, I wanted to bring up about why each player chose their race. And let's take a look at Odin. Odin said he likes playing Zerg. Uh, just like the flexibility and macro of Zerg is what he says, and Pyruvate, about Terran, I play Terran, I don't like to see aliens win. So... There you have it. Uh, just for those of you who do not know, the AHGL is the After Hours Gaming League, as I had said, in Game 1. Uh, and this is the B League. And what these players are playing for is $1,000 for a charity of their choice. Uh, during the season, they'll get their they'll get wins and losses for their team. I believe it's the f top four teams from every division. Uh, th actually, maybe it's three. We'll go into a playoff, um, which is a win or lose situation and the winner of the playoff gets a thousand dollars for their charity uh, there are teams like Facebook obviously Mozilla and Cisco here we got EA uh, Epic a bunch of different teams going here uh, let's see it looks like Odin was trying to stop that barracks from getting finished but he was able to run the SCV away before it died so some pretty good early micro um, by Odin here. I also forgot to mention that in the first game, that game was Wings of Liberty, not Heart of the Swarm. There is a bug, uh, let's see, Odin looks like he got a spawning pool down about, I would say, 15, maybe 14. Uh, looks like he's going to, no, he's not going to be expanding just yet, probably here pretty soon. Um, anyway, what I was saying <clears throat> is, uh, wait, what was I saying? Oh, right, Heart of the Swarm, Wings of Liberty. There is a bug out for the Mac OS X uh, right now um, for the Mac operating system, and so some of these matches have had to been played in Wings of Liberty, and the first one was. This one is Heart of the Swarm, so we'll, we might be seeing some of the uni units in this game. Uh, some standard Terran play going on here. We got some two barracks going. Oh, no, one barracks, one factory going down at the beginning. He might be going for a quick tech to Banshees. See if he can't get some harass on that mineral line. Uh, let's see, still no expansion here um, <clears throat> by Odin at all. He might be going for some real quick lean play, which is not going to be too advantageous against that wall, but we'll see what happens. Maybe he's uh, just expanding late. We're already at 23, no expansion. We'll see what happens. And the SCV's running like hell, go! <clears throat> Encrypted, what would you be wanting to see here this... In this match. Mm, well, with our... Oh, what did you just drop there? That's important. Yeah. Oh, yes, he is doing a Baneling nest. So probably a Baneling bust here. I believe Odin, too, is a genie because I was hoping for some Baneling play. Well, you shall have it because that Baneling nest is going to be finished real soon. And it, let's see what his lean production is. Not too much. That expansion goes down at about, I think it was 24... He's not going to have a whole lot of banelings here at the very beginning, but we'll see what happens. If uh, <clears throat> Pyruvate can get a bunch of... <clears throat> excuse me. If he can get a bunch of uh, uh, Widow Mines out and whatnot, he might actually be able to fend off some of these banelings that are going to be coming in. We'll see what happens. And that expansion will probably be done here in just a couple minutes. Yeah, that, that push isn't going to be able to do too much there. Uh, let's see. Yep, no no, no, no sneaky play right now. <clears throat> and uh, uh, <clears throat> So Pyruvate, it looks like he's going to be expanding here, um, obviously because of the command center. Pretty pretty standard turn play here at six minutes. You always want to keep your economy up. Still not too many lings, only four in production right now. Uh, for Odin, so we'll see what happens. It looks like he just dropped, yeah, just dropped down that Evo chamber. Let's see if he can't get some upgrades to take out these uh, Hellions and whatnot. But this Hellion, few Marines and uh, Widow Mine might actually do some pretty good damage if he were to 
go ahead and start. Uh, well, what's the word I'm looking for? Sieging at this uh, the second base. I might actually be able to get some good damage down. And someone is online. I don't care right now. Okay. Uh, anyway. Well, actually, I do care. But in any case, it's still nothing too bad. Uh, nothing too sneaky, I should say. Uh, from Pyruve, just a starport going down. Maybe going to be doing some bio here pretty soon. Not sure if he's going to be doing macro bio or possibly a small mix of it. Um, but he's going to see... Oh, no. Oh, no. Those Hellions are gone and those... Baneleys are going to just take out... Oh, man. That was not good to lose. Oh. Lots of damage right there <clears throat> to Pyruvate. <laughs> no! <laughs> lots of damage. Uh, not very good for Pyruvate. We'll see what happens <clears throat> when these uh, Banelings and these Lings come over and hit. Uh, still no speed for these Banelings. So they won't be the really fast ones unless... Maybe he already did that, but I did not catch that, so... I don't believe that any Banelings that he has has speed. Uh, but it also does mean that Pyruvate will know that he does have Banelings, whereas before he didn't know uh, that Odin had Banelings. So he might be able to uh, go for some quick <coughs> siege tech if he can to stop these Banelings. Looks like he's just going to keep with Widow Mines, though. What do you think about that one, Encrypted? Well, no, I haven't actually had a lot of play with Widow Mines, but my understanding is they can be pretty good at fending off these early attacks by Zergs. <laughs> If he gets them out in time, that is, those Banelings could probably do some damage if they charged up the ramp right now. We'll see what happens. That one Ling is not going to spot these Widow Mines coming out, so that will be to Pyruvate's advantage. When these Widow Mines get out here, they can burrow real quick. Oh, if they can get down! Oh, no, he's not He's not getting them underground to be able to attack. Oh, no! Those Banelings will rip all the Widow Mines, all the Marines, everything out. Oh, that is just devastating at the front door for Pyruvate. Thankfully, he didn't take out that... <clears throat> take any of his production or anything out, but... Oh, took out a bunch of his uh, his army, and that is just not good. Lots of upgrades, though, coming out here for Pyruvate. Uh, he's got the shield, stim packs, all sorts of stuff coming out, so... <clears throat> lots of production on this two base. Surprisingly, Odin has still not expanded to his third... Not sure if he's just going to stick with the Baneling play or not. I, I don't know if I agree with that, but to everyone their own. <clears throat> to each their own, I should say. We'll see what happens with keeping that two base all in. What do you think about that one, Encrypted? Uh, he's making an awful lot of investment in those Banelings. If our Terran player keeps up the production with Widow Mines and Hellions and Micros them properly, those won't be very effective. But he does have speed research going on for the Banelings, so it could be interesting. And yes, I did fail to mention that. My apologies. He is getting that down, which will be very advantageous for him. But against a bunch of Widow Mines, Hellions, and Marines, I don't know how successful an attack like that will be. But we'll find out here soon. <clears throat> Looks like that uh, Pyruvi is going to be going for his third here pretty quick. Just getting some calm getting some comps asked to see what's going on around here see if there's any fishy play going on we do have an incoming drop from our turn player along with an infestation pit going down for Odin we'll see what happens with this drop it's gonna be two marauders three marines maybe not too much but it should be able to do a little bit of economic damage to uh, to Odin here unless he can't hold it off there's only just a spine crawler here to hold it down Oh, no, 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 all his, all his leans were hidden, uh, sitting down at the bottom of the base, and that'll clean that one up real quick. He has to move that right on out. Still lots and lots of leans. No creep spread in between the main and the natural. So in case he never has any units really, really close, he might not be able to get back quick enough for an attack. Uh, or another drop that's made, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, it looks like Pyruvate's going to be dropping down that third base here. Whereas, still, Odin has not expanded. If this game goes much longer, I do not think that's going to be to his advantage. Now, Pyruve is going to see this huge Ling, Baneling force coming down. Maybe he'll be able to hold it off. We'll see what happens. How many does he have? Any Widow Mines? Yes, he has one, two Widow Mines out. Uh, one at the ramp, and then one a little bit behind. So those should be able to do some pretty good damage. Do they have any upgrades? No, no upgrades right now. 
Let's take a look. We got zero one for for Odin. That should be pretty good. And let's see what happens with this attack. These Marines. Oh, the Widow Mine hits, and Tis takes out so many. Oh, so many lings. And these Marauders and Marines were able to kite a bunch of those Banelings. But here comes another Baneling, uh, another group of Banelings here, and it doesn't look like. Oh no! They moved right by the army and got absolutely nothing. Oh, that is just devastating. Let's take a look at these kills on the Widow Mines. Yeah, like what they were saying, 18 kills on that Widow Mine. Oh man, that is not good uh, for Odin. Let's see if he's going to be able to, to, to pull out of this one. <clears throat> I don't know if he's going to be able to, because these Marauders and these Marines are just going to rip everything apart. And that Widow Mine gets out. Is it going to hit? No, it doesn't look like it's going to hit just yet. But Odin not taking it out that Widow Mine may be very bad for him. We'll see what happens after this attack here. These Marines and these Marauders are holding it pretty dang good. <clears throat> it's just there's too many Lings there to be able to do anything about that. But if he runs these Lings back over this Widow Mine, they could get damaged pretty bad, if not completely destroyed. Let's see what happens. Oh, half of them gone in one shot from that Widow Mine. That is not good for Odin. Because he is still on two bases, still hasn't expanded. It looks like he's going for his Spire, but I'm afraid it might be too late. He is getting down Hive Tech, but still on two bases. He may not be able to remax as quickly as he would like to. <clears throat> Whereas Pyruve, our Terran player here, is oh, just so much bio going on right now. Lots of Marines, lots of Marauders with 1-0 upgrades and with the uh, with the marine shield so I don't know how much these lings are going to be able to do against this it does not bode very well for our for our zerg friend and I have to agree what are the upgrades on the zerg player side look like I believe it was 0-1 or 1-0 all banelings morphing oh jeez everyone cancelled and all these lings are just going to march to their death 0-2 not 0-1 0-2 0-2 but yeah, I have to agree Ooh. with you. Our Zerg player doesn't seem to have the macro to hold against the three base Terran here. At this point, at 17 minutes in the game as a Zerg, you want to have at least a third base. I I don't know why he hasn't expanded. Maybe he just forgot. It's happened to me too, just forgetting to expand sometime. That Spire is going to finish, so maybe he will try and go some Muta Harass. But against this Bio Ball, I don't think that would be a very wise decision, even with the Muta's healing ability in Heart of the Swarm. We'll see what happens against this huge Baneling Ball. And, oh, these Marines are going to kite a bunch. Oh! The Banelings are able to take out a bunch of the Marines and Marauders. But it looks like these Banelings are going to clean it all up. Oh! Pyruve only able to pick up five Marauders uh, before that attack is gone, killing so many Marines. But at the same time, using so many resources for these Banelings. Pyruve with the hot pickup. <laughs> That's an achievement. Yes, yes, it is. And that is a very smart idea by Pyruvate at his, at his third to have um, that Planetary Fortress because that is going to be very important later on. And these Malines are not going to be able to get that Widow Mine down with only 6 HP. Oh, so close. These Widow Mines just do so much damage to Lings. It is ridiculous. And Odin still not having taken out this Widow Mine. Does he have any detection at all for him? No, he does not. It does not look like he has any overseers at all. Oh, that is just... As he runs these lings by, it's just going to hurt him every single time. And Pyruvate is going to be mar marching out with a nice Marine Marauder Ball. And I don't know if Odin's going to be able to hold it this time because he doesn't have as many Banelings. Because he just doesn't have the resources. Oh, one thing I have noticed uh, is he's doing a good job keeping them low, but that's because he's not getting too many, so... We'll see what happens in this attack. It looks like we got 1-0 upgrades against 0-2. Uh, still, No, 1-2. It looks like he did get his armor going. That Widow Mine going to be burying. And as soon as these Banelings or Lings just move in, oh, it's going to do so much damage. And Comsat going down so we can see all those burrowed Banelings. And they are just going to get toasted by this army. <clears throat> Even with no Metavacs, are just going to be doing so much damage. I fear it might be over for our for our Zerg friend here, and there is the GG. Oh, once again it goes 
to show that it pays so much off in the end to keep your economy up and going. So, well, at the end of that match, it looks like Cisco will be taking a 2-0 lead over Mozilla, and we'll see what happens in Game 3.